in five, four, three, two, one. You can hate him for not making that fight happen, but this is an unbiased show. We talk boxing. If it is just some missed details, the Double RT Boxing Show, Mr. A is here to help you, because that's what we do. We talk that boxing, spit that fire on the internet, dragging on the net, hashtag dragging on the net. You know, follow me on at Twitter at RRTB Show. Double RT, Double RT, Double RT Boxing Show with Mr. A. La Tigerisa gets another shot. Give me my belt back. Give me my belt back. That's what she gets to say. Or as Laura said, nah, you lost it. You don't deserve to get it back. It sucks, though, that Akuna, you know, she's up there in age. She's 41. Sooner or later, time is going to catch up to her. But she just lost that belt to uh, Daniela from Bermuda. Bermuda Diaz. And now Daniela vacated it, and now she gets to get that belt. She's fighting for the belt she just lost. That sucks, you know? Now, the reason why she lost that belt, the output, the volume was just of Daniela was just too high. You know, Akuna held her own in that fight. She landed some good shots, but she just could not handle the output of the younger Daniela just just swarming her with punches. You know, those punches where they had some good oomph on them, but it was just too many. And that being said, can Laura fight that way? Can she put the onslaught of punches on Akuna? Because Akuna could, she, she'd jab you all night long. She'd jab you, jab you, nice left, left hook to the kidney. You know, can Laura put the pressure? She To me, Laura can't box her from the outside. Laura has to make this a in mid-range to inside fight. Movement, I think... Duh. I give a Kuna a slight edge in movement. Defense, they're both gap control. Jab, jab, you know, that's that's going to be the defense. Whoever controls the gap and they can clinch. But offensive, a Kuna to me has a better one-two. Laura, however, she has a nice hook to the body, hook to the upstairs with the left. And if she's able to get with inside the mid-range, I think she could win an inside fight. But can she keep it up for a 10 rounds? Like I said, to me, the, even though she's up there in age, can Laura do an output, a volume of punches that Akuna can't handle? That's the only way to me you could beat her. And that's the way Daniela beat her. She, she throws so many punches that number one and number two were getting blocked, but three and four were landing. And to me, uh, Laura doesn't have that output. You know, I think she can hang with her in the inside game. I just don't know how long she can do it for. I don't know if she has the stamina. If she's able to last an inside game for 10 rounds, I would say she could beat Akuna. But I don't see Laura... Uh, Stamina going that long, and I, and I don't think she's the type to throw that many punches. When I seen her fight shot um, shotgun, she's not a, a high punch selection. I mean, high punch thrower. When I seen her fight the other girl, I forgot for the four rounder, she just doesn't throw that many punches. She, she tries to wait for that one punch. She'll slip in, try and counter you. So I'm gonna go with uh, Marcella Kuna to get her belt back on this one by oh, keeping the distance and one two jabbing her. Like I said, the only way Laura could win this fight to me is by going mid-range and inside and a high volume of body shots. But I just don't see Laura as a high volume puncher. And I think that's going to, I think she's going to, the volume is going to be low. Akuna's going to do her regular one-two, occasional body hook. Like I said, but Akuna can't stay in front of Laura and take her body shots. Her body shots to me, are more effective than Akuna's. But I got Akuna recapturing her IBF female super bantamweight title with probably like a, a unanimous decision. This is the Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. Thank you for your time and support. <laughs>